Hey, Kase fam, and welcome back to Kase. I'm here with another episode of, yeah, you know, the show. Um, I'm here with Balto, um, and we're gonna just jump right into it. Okay, when did you start cosplaying? Um, I started, I think, about three years ago in July. Uh, my first con was Oz Comic Con, and many got into it because one of my good friends, Red Star Cosplay, or also a snow dancer, she did cosplay first and she's like hey want to come along to this weird nerd convention and cosplay with me so i'm like sure why not and since then i've just been doing it for now three years now and absolutely love it it's such a fun hobby to do and it definitely keeps me out of trouble so <laughs> keeps you out of trouble Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> uh what was your first cosplay uh, my first one was a female Quicksilver. I had horrible old jeans that my friend had helped me paint silver, which was very interesting. Had an old jacket that I spray painted with metal spray paint, painted that silver and had like the horrible hair, like the colored hairspray, which didn't even cover half my hair. <laughs> my dear wigs were a thing. So yeah, that was my first cosplay and there's probably pictures of it on my Instagram. It's probably really cringeworthy, but... <laughs> It's definitely changed shape since then. So over three years, what do you um what's been your favorite cosplay to do? Hands down Yang Xiaolong from Ruby. Hands down, she is my absolute favorite. I've cosplayed volume one, I've cosplayed the five slash six volume, and I'm currently waiting on volume seven to arrive because you know, the whole coronavirus thing, it's taking a long time to, you know, come here. Yeah. So um postponing any rush to get it at the moment yeah definitely yang xiao long from ruby that's pretty cool what's been your uh least favorite cosplay um oh that's a tough one um i don't know actually i haven't really had any that i hated um because obviously you know with cosplay you grow and learn and everything but i think at the least Probably least favorite I've had to cosplay was probably maybe Rough Talia from Rising of the Shield Hero. Um, mostly, like, it was a beautiful cosplay. I just had some bad memories being um, in that costume and, you know, the people I was cosplaying with, not so not so much with them anymore. So it's just horrible memories yeah. now. But otherwise, I enjoy being in the costume. But, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my cat just <laughs> showed up and I saw her. Um <laughs> You just, you were talking about how uh, in cosplay you grow and you learn. What's one of the cosplays that you feel like has been one that you've grown through? Definitely Yang, um, especially trying to get body confidence. Mm -hmm. um, but also when I first got my Yang, first Yang cosplay, which was the volume one, it was actually way too big for me. So I had to learn, you know, how to sew it to take it in, make sure it would fit me properly. And also, you know, learning how to deal with a long curly wig, which I still have that same wig to this day. And it is the biggest pain to actually work with, but then also, you know, having to make her robotic arm, which I'm still learning how to do and trying to make, you know, better and better each time. And that's still a pain to try and make. Um, what about conventions? I know that you said that the first con you went to was uh, OzCon, right? uh yeah what have been some recent ones or you know ones that you've been to within the past three years that you've enjoyed because uh right now con season's destroyed with this virus thing you know um well apart from, I think the, i've been to pretty much every con that melbourne has so i've been to oz comic con i've been to supernova i've been to madman i've been to animaga uh back in the day there was amx as well mm -hmm. which is no longer um on at the moment i've also been to pax as well so pretty much all those cons i've been to pretty much in the past three years except for supernova this year i didn't go to that one unfortunately <laughs> i tried to hold her and then she jumped out sorry mine's just vibing right now she's mine's, happy with Pax. mine is a gremlin she's also a baby can you not ruin my roommate's carpet thank you like my my girl turns three this year so she's still a baby oh mine's like six months barely uh -huh. she's a cutie cat. <laughs> oh no she's old you're, you're like what eight nine months why am i asking her like she's gonna respond to me 
Anyway. <laughs> um, what have been some positive experiences that you've had at cons? Um, well, definitely seeing, you know, people freak out when their favorite character comes up to you or like to just see you. Like I've seen, you know, I've had people at OzCon last year where I guess is Yang um, for the volume five slash six version for the first time. And I've just got absolutely flogged like people were just coming up to me like oh my god yang shaolong and i was in a whole group and everything and then maybe even seeing kids smile when they see their favorite i don't know disney princess come up out of around the corner <laughs> and they just freak out um but then also you know getting compliments on weapons and armor that you've made and you know costumes that you've made or tampered with and it's just really good to you know have people give you that experience and all that kind of stuff has there been a specific memory that you have that you're extremely proud of or that you, like, think about constantly? Um, probably when I cosplayed Yang at one point and I went on, onto a stage for a cosplay parade. I was absolutely terrified but because, you know, stage fright, lots of people staring at you. But um, it was actually a lot of fun. I went there with a couple of friends and we all dressed up in, you know, full Ruby team and it was a lot of fun and got to do a bunch of photos so that was probably like one of my most memorable that I've had in that costume so far. That's awesome. Um, I know that this is probably maybe a little bit personal, but like what's a bad experience that you had? I guess like at every con, there's always that creepy person and always like the weird, weird people that come up and, you know, kind of ask you really sexualized questions or they comment really sexually on your costume. I've had a fair few of that. Um, cause we all know Yang's costume is a little bit revealing when it comes to the chest sometimes, but, um, yeah, I've had a couple creepy comments like that, or I've had photographers, you know, over-sexualize my characters before. And even though they're nowhere near sexualized, they don't need to be. Yeah. That's probably, probably like the worst that I've had is uh, just people. Yeah. How do you react to that normally? Um, well, I, every time I have a photo shoot, I never go alone. Like I never do because obviously people try to take advantage when you're by yourself. So I always have someone with me and most of my friends or even partners will actually notice that, you know, if I'm uncomfortable that they'll say something, or even if I will, I'll probably say something like, Hey, I don't want to do this. This is not, not part of the character. It's not any of her poses. I don't want to do this. And if it gets, it gets too much, then obviously I'll leave and, I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to do this anymore. I'd rather go somewhere else where someone is not going to make me feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So. That's a good response. Yeah. <laughs> um, what about your, um, your, oh, I'll just space out. That's fine. That was a question that I had and now it's gone. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I know how to malfunction apparently, but that's it. <laughs> um, Cause plans. You, do you have those? Do we do we get to know some of those? Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Hopefully, especially with the cons being postponed, it gives me definitely more time, which is helpful. Oh yeah. Um, and I'm cosplaying Volume Seven Yang Shaolong at some point this year, even maybe the next year if that doesn't happen. Um, as well as Rapunzel because she is my favorite Disney princess, and I absolutely love her. You'd be such a as cute well Rapunzel. Well, thank you. Um, as well as Rayla from the Dragon Prince. Yes. So I've done like a little cos test of her, a closet cos test, and it, it was a huge hit with all people that follow me. So I'm going to try and either make her costume or buy it, um, depending which one is easiest, I guess. Um, so yes, yeah, so those three are definitely my big ones for this year, and I hope that I can do them. So... How do you feel about the cons getting cancelled because somebody decided to eat bat soup? Oh, it's heartbreaking because, you know, my last, the last, first con of this year I didn't get to go to because I went to a BNS ball, so I didn't get to go to that. Um, and then to find out that, you know, one of the biggest cons in Melbourne is being postponed to, like, September, and I'm just like, no, but it also gives me more time, so I guess it's kind of a good thing but it sucks because you know it affects so many people and people can't you know do their passion and it just 
it's horrible. I just, I've got nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, honestly, just nothing. There's nothing to do. So we like get into cosplay. And I'll just sit here and be like, I'll just sit here and cosplay for like five hours. I don't have to do anything. Pretty much. <laughs> just for fun now have you done any of the um the online uh like they have a bunch of discord servers for everybody that's like wanting to cosplay together have you done any of those uh used to when i first started um but it got to a point where in those groups it became very toxic um mm -hmm. being online and people trying to claim cosplays which you can't claim a cosplay cosplay you know it's a character is meant for everyone so you can have your own interpretation of it but it became very toxic people trying to claim things and telling other people well, you can't cosplay this person you can't cosplay that you can't do this and i'm like i've had enough so since then i have not been on a discord server i just downright know anymore yeah i know they're putting together a lot of online servers not even just for um like specific groups but it's like they're doing um, online conventions. They're doing Zoom calls where everybody just hangs out in cosplay. I actually did yeah. one the other day. Those are really cool. What do you think? Like, do you think that that's going to change the way that we um, participate with each other in the cosplay world? I feel like it will, but it's also, it's not, it's not the same. Yeah, like, it really isn't. You you're still walking around for 12 hours a day, just looking at random stuff that you just like, should I buy it or is it just stuff that's just going to sit on my shelf? But, you know, it's it's not the same. I feel like it, it will probably, you know, help while we're in this whole pandemic. Mm -hmm. But as soon as this is over, we're all going back to a convention center. <laughs> we're going to hang out there for like 12 hours. It's definitely, it's it's going to be crazy because everyone is going to be like, well, we saved all the money on the cons we didn't get to go to. So now you can just like like just blow your money on it oh yeah that artist the the, the vendor hall is gonna be empty oh yeah <laughs> it's gonna be friday of like the first day it's gonna be empty by the end of that oh definitely but yeah um do you have anything to say to any of your fans or your followers any advice um well when it comes to cosplay you know don't give up if something obviously seems a bit hard at the moment there's plenty of tutorials you know, it's not that hard to maybe even message a cosplayer that might or might have experience in it. Um, in Australia, I know there's a place called Lumen's Workshop, and they tend to do a lot of workshops when it comes to sewing or making props and using any kinds of foam that they all have or even warbler. So there's plenty of tutorials if you get stuck. And so that's, that's really cool. I wish we had something like that here. We might. I might just not know about it maybe <laughs> i don't know everything because yeah anyway um that's that's kind of it uh that's like all the questions i have nice <laughs> so we're just oh hi cat <laughs> sorry i'm easily distracted <laughs> anyway i'm gonna end the thing now um no do you have any final comments for anybody um <laughs> no <laughs> no 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 it's cool Okay, well, that's it for today's episode. Uh, I will see you next week, Kase fam. Bye.